Hello, John Dilworth here, and here we are with Fleke, trying to finish up this scene. We just have to do him, and that's exciting because this is a big scene. It took me a long time. And what do we have now? We have to do this one. Yeah. So, whoo -hoo, all you f fanatics for drawing drawing on glass, I now. Uh, admire you, and I long for paper again, but that'll come. Oops, oopsies, I don't like that, looks too thick. When I ink, I like to see how the previous drawing worked out for continuity and also to help guide the process of inking. I always did that. It's just the same with animating. I always flip. Well, aha! Those days are over. Oh, I don't like that one either. It's a little awkward right now because I have this camera above my head. Uh, but I'm hoping I could, I could come conjure up some intelligence so that you come away with learning something. But right now, I'm having a little bit of difficulty. Flipping, right. So what is this now? What is this called? Going, going back and forward. Does that have a new name in this? this world I'm all for it I'm not you know you know I've been I, I do technology ah this is tough I can't rotate my monitor because my camera will have an earthquake so we're just doing little things like this Lissy. okay so his little and this is my favorite when I can put a little dot in the back that's about I don't know. The subversion is going to continue, I'm certain. It's just a matter of finding the right forum. I don't want to be excessive. But I do miss those little, these little moments of subversion. And I'm just thinking now of getting to the alleyway shots, because the alleyway is my favorite sequence. And I tell you why, I tell you why. Because their alleys have walls, brick walls. And what do we often find on brick walls? That's right, propaganda. So who's going to appear there? Is, is, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm slowly beginning to think about key people that have helped me in this journey making howl and other propaganda create posters you know and stick them up there and and that's what we could do to have more fun with the production process so I'm I don't know, it's not official, of course, but Zag Oopsies, what's happening? The Zagreb International Film Festival may have a program which will include the Dirty Birdie Redux and Zagreb's in Croatia. So I'm very excited about that if that works out, but it, it feels like it will. Oh, I gotta take, I had a little error with those ears. I gotta clean them up, but I won't do them now. I'll do them later. And I don't know, it'd be, who knows what is going to be required of travelers from New York to Zagreb. And it would be really lovely to go visit again. I haven't been in a long time. And as for filmmakers, you know, you and I, it's going to festivals is a big deal. It's so big deal. I just read that the Academy is not going to 
So I'm going to have the short animated program live. They're going to do it an hour before the tele. <laughs> oh wow! You know, and then they're just going to have an excerpt. You know that type of thing. And it's because they were getting, they're having problems with the ratings. Last year they had the worst. You know, nobody really showed up to watch the Oscars last year. But last year, I mean, what's been going on? Yeah, you know, it's been a very troubling year. So maybe it'll change. But as an animator making films, it's, it's the highlight to go get up out of our seat, take the aisle walk. I haven't, but I was there. And and receive our accolade and then thank the important people of our lives that have helped us with this project. But now that it'll be done, you know, but without the glamour. So there it is. That's the reality of life. I just read, oh, I just read that. But I don't, ah! Switch colors, Dilworth. So the inking process, it goes a little bit, it's going a little bit faster, I must say. Uh, it's, it's quite a, it's quite a learning curve, they call that. I, you know, I don't even know why I said that. It's, it's like everything else. We got to do it to get competence. But, you know, for me, the frustration, getting over the frustration was also important to controlling that, controlling my frustration of things not being exactly the way I want them. And that is a sign of my maturity. So I have matured just making this transition to this thing. And here we go. Soon will be done. What oh I also before I think and I before I think, yeah, there it is. Because it's tough. Do you when you animate, do you listen to music? Do you what do you do? I have to tell you that the masters would would discourage anything but your own thoughts ah. and your drawings. So, in other words, nothing. Listen to nothing. Just concentrate. And I totally understand that because I do that on occasion. I will simply knock out all the noise. Mm, if I go... I could let that slide, but let me see if I can do a little better. Yeah, okay, it's just a little bit thinner. Uh, I've knocked out all the noise and just animated, and it's it was it's like a meditation. It's like being in a meditation. And I actually do, I actually do uh, feel that I'm accomplishing an even high, higher, higher, a heightened. Is this it for him? Let me just see something. Oh, then it turns. Oh, but I have these ears going on. When does his ears go on? Is that here? Let me check that. I think that's his ears. Yeah, so it's separate line. Okay, so I'm not going to do his ears. But do I have... Let me see this. Right, so try it. I just say try it. Why not? What could it harm? But then there are many times and many times where I really want to hear something and I'll just I'll just have it on now it can't be something serious right I mean we we there's just so much of our attention that can take in too much distraction okay so this kid's this kid's set that's flicky 
Now, you're interested in the name. Flecky comes from the Antonioni film, Umberto D, which is Italian post-war. There's, a, there's a, an actual category for this thing. Um, realism, Italian realism. Yep, Italian realism. People suffered. They were suffering then after the war. I wonder what's, I wonder what's in store for us this, this year. You know? Whoops! Oh, I see something right there I don't like. Let's blow that up. Now, of course, I, I've done this thing and it's like, yeah, John, can you do that with paper? No. I can't even do that with my eyeballs. But perhaps one day, yeah, right? When we could just, when we've been fully, what is it called? Uh, mm, uh, transhumanized. <laughs> That's the World Economic Forum vernacular. You know, I'm repeating it, so I'm a, I'm a dutiful taxpayer. Uh, yeah. When we have all this technology and then we can simply just zoom in, zoom out, like a satellite, like satellite. Like, now then maybe we could see through people's, uh, into their bones, like, like x-rays. <laughs> right? What do you think? You think that's, that could be good? The fantasy? The fantasy come true? Okay, so there, it's in blue for some reason. And let me just knock this kid off. And I'm, whoopsies, just do that. I mean, I already, I animated the damn thing already. Let me fix this here. Whoops, I didn't mean to say damn. Damn, the world, 66. So these are little things that I'm learning. You can go, woohoo, 66, and there we go. All right. Yeah, why not? Why? That looks weird. Let me see if I can make that worse. I can always make things worse. All right. What do I want to do here? No, I don't want to do that. Do I want to do that? No, I don't want to do that either. Okay, so let me tighten that up. Let me clean that up. It's going to be so small. We have to know, we have to develop our strategy what's going to require our, our, our more attention than other things. So that we don't spend a lot of time on something like this. Let me just, oh, nope, that won't work. He's not on the layer. Stick, oh, well, what happened there? And what happened there? And what happened there? I guess I gotta finish that, okay. You know, the, the distance between actually animating this and now inking it can be felt by what happened here. So this is easy. I just clean that up. I hope everyone has great plans to celebrate and relax after a week of grueling work. Suffering. <laughs> right. Trying to raise money, trying to pay artists. These studios. Bloody studios. Let's see. And while I'm at it, I might as well give myself a pitch. Ah! You know, all. All support is appreciated, and I've created this Etsy account, Etsy store, for all those who want autographs. And if you know anybody that wants any autographs, you can go check that out and give them, hey, Dilly sent me, you know, something like this. And fear not. I want to start coloring. I could get a couple of really solid painters. Let me get this. I will start coloring again. 
So this is all very exciting, right? Very exciting. We're making a movie for a future. We have no idea what will happen. What kind of future is we to have? You know what? I'm going to fix this here. Ah! Skip that because uh, we're, we're doing a show. We can't have interruptions when we're doing a show. Is this a show? It's a lesson. This is what I'm doing. It's what I've always done on these things. I'm just interested in, in sharing. So after I'm long gone and dead, you're, there'll be something good, maybe, to, to take away, to carry forward. Let's clean that up. I don't like that line. Even though, like we said, it's like, even this thing is awful. I mean, oh, Dilworth. Ah! Nope. Ah! I better do this. Sometimes making sounds is the way to go. Even though I know that there is a PhD, double PhD opinion, well, opinion is based on, on real, real research, uh, occasional cussing is a sign of intelligence. Now, right, it could be also a way to excuse one's, you know, ex personal expression. They always have to put in some vernacular. But it's, that's the way it is. That's the balance of things. What are you going to do? Okay. So this kid is ready. Let's, let's pull out a little bit. Okay, so then we go to this. What happened to him? Oh, there he is. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Now, for me, the whole thing is trying to, well, it's very important, vital, in fact, very, very, very vital, that I get this eye. I have to do that. Uh, his feet remain anchored. Otherwise, the illusion's lost. And that's also why we toggle, right? Is that the word? Toggle. I don't know, flip, toggle. I think I like flip. But you know what I mean. Use the words you want to use. As long as you're understood. That's what I say. That's why it's possible to have a, 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 a conversation with a, a, an animal, like a cat or a dog or a bird. You can talk to them, and they look at you like they understand, don't they? Did you ever notice that? Oh, so this looks a little right. You see how off I was. So we're going to bring that back. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. Okay. Conscientiousness is is paramount in animation production. I mean, of course, having good drawing skills and understanding physics. Oh, by the way, anyone interested in... I have plenty. I always make room for new students. And I love having these one-on-ones with students. So if anyone's interested and they want to learn animation with Dilly and not spend $60,000 for, you know, a piece of paper... I can give you one for much, much less. And then, oh my God, the fun. And that's all I've been having with my students is fun. They learn something, they come around with something they hadn't even known that they could possess. And that's, that's what it is. That's why we do it. And thank you, oh my goodness, thank you all for your love regarding... Our sweet Muriel. It's going to be hard to replace these elders. So hard. I mean, what do I have to move into? I, I don't know. Where do I go for an elder anymore? All of mine, they're really just disappearing. One by one. And I guess life wouldn't be right. Life if things didn't end. Oopsies. Now, once in a while, don't, don't get angry with yourself if you make a really ugly drawing. <laughs> because that's, that's the first, you know, we learned that in animation, in animation school, and, and just exploring animation by doing it, right? You have to do it. 
you have to do it. Okay, so that looks wonky wonky. I'm not sure the perspective is wrong here, right? And I'm not shy to try and figure it out as long as it doesn't take too much time. Is that better? Hold on, let me just flip. It is better, it looks, you know, it's got ink splotches and everything, I mean, this is the way it is with this painting on glass. I mean, I have to do it for how many years before I'll still have, I'll have the control I had with the pencil on paper or the pen or the marker ah! or any other tool I used on the paper. God damn, you're right, it's like Dilworth always ranting about the paper. Why don't you just give it up and do the paper? Because I tell you why. There are practical, economic reasons. Let me see this. Look, I, I, I don't think anybody will begrudge me accepting that, even though we feel... Oh, no. Oh, hold on. What happened here? Well, his ears can't go floating around the... Let me fix something here. Oi, 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 Oh, I'm going to have to do this, am I? Yeah. So, let's see this. What? No, we don't want that. We want this. Okay, hold on. Then we want... Well, you see how far we are. Let me do this. Hey, why can't I? Why won't you let me? Oh, it's locked. Okay. As Anthony says, it's, there's always, oh, how do I move this? Let me, ah! let me get this back. I think these keys are here, right? Let me do this. Right. This is going to be more like it, but then I have to do this. Right. So let me do this. Let me do this and pull this thing back. Okay, so then I think we're closer. See, yeah, how did that happen? <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe I could just, yeah, I can. I can just grab that one. Come here. Don't do that. Go over here. You just have to be in the same spot. Well, you could imagine the state I was in animating this. <laughs> right? I mean, that's what we miss. We... No witnesses. If we were all animating together, okay, let me take this off. Then we would know oh, what happened to his foot. And this is locked, so we want to do that. Okay, we're almost done. And then I'll just let you go and have fun. Because I don't think I said anything very intelligent today. Oh, that's why. Okay, let me just do this and see why I didn't feel... That's right. That's the anchor. We have to get the anchor. Let's be ah. Let's be conscientious. Attention to details. Form. Right form. Okay, so that we don't need this anymore. <coughs> so much fun. I wish you were all here at the studio. No. Well, I'm not even at the studio. I don't even go there anymore. It's just like a museum now. All working together in our tables. And me shouting, Turret Banner! Actually, I know, I've been a... I can be a little... Yeah, no admissions. Oh, I didn't do... Hold on, i got to finish this. Why didn't I do that? Hold on. Let's... Let's put in our, our color, our self line. I'm not doing a hell of, I have other visions, but not the budget to add all sorts of lovely details in the color, but we're doing some of that. Let me see this. Okay, now we're going back to where we were. Um, Fleke, Fleke, he's turning out to be quite, an interesting, whoopsies, character to animate. And I like it. I like him. 
I'm trying to think of if he's Jules's dog or Jim's dog. I like to think that he's Jim's dog. And I tell you why. Because Jules would be preoccupied, too preoccupied with her, her work at the bio lab. And the things that she's trying to accomplish there, she couldn't be, you know, she loves dogs and loves animals, but if you're never home for these things, you know, there's a guilt that sets in. And for me, I, I had a cat, kitty cat, but it was really my partner's kitty cat, Suavidad. He appears in so many of my films, great inspiration. And also, you know, he played his inspiration with, with courage. I tell you right now, big reveal, I don't think I've ever shared this to anyone, but today I just feel like sharing it. Mur courage on Muriel's lap came from Suavidad. I would animate, I would be at my desk animating, and fa my favorite memories, of course, would, well, you wouldn't know, Michael Sporn, his films, he did children's books, you can look them up, and I would animate at my table, and Suavidad will come underneath my, the table to sit on my lap, to sit on my lap. And he just seemed to be the most comfortable. Or when my partner would watch a movie, Suavidad would come and sit on her lap. And that is where Courage sitting on the lap of Muriel, Muriel had come from. Also, there's a lovely Scottish phrase. Oops, what am I doing? I've got I to gotta pay attention. See what happens when we're listening to classical music or anything else? Heavy metal? Whatever it is that inspires you. Okay, well, these are just tangents. Of course, well, we've all animated to beautiful music to help us get creatively fluid. Oh, fluid. I always think about that artist. I really like him. One day he's going to finish my jacket, which is looking awesome. And every time I wear it, I, it's like I, it makes me a celebrity. Because his jacket is just so awesome. And that's because he's awesome. But so, yeah, where were we? Talking about courage on the lap of Mio. So there's a Scottish phrase. When things are going your way, they, they say, you're in the lap. <laughs> Which is short for the lap of luxury, right? And it's, it's, it's much funnier and and charming when you hear it spoken in Scottish, especially from Muriel. Whoop! I think that's too thin, right? Because it's just going to look like a... Blah, 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 blah. Let's try to widen this thing out. Maybe, you know what we can do? Let's do this as a test. Why not? Because... Ah! <laughs> that was on a digital fit the view. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, it, it doesn't look good. So we don't want that. Okay, let's let's do something else. Let's let's have a party. Let's widen this on. Right. So isn't that a sweet little anecdote? So you for. All of us creators and filmmakers, we understand the power of bah! <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna like what is wrong with this boy? You're gonna realize you do realize the immense power of being conscious alive. Because the source oh, the source of our a lot of our creativity is just by being engaged. Now, if you're depressed and you're having troubles that way, things shut down. That's for damn sure. But one thing I've been studying a lot about is cold showers and breathing. 
Wim Hof, W-I-M-H-O-F, Wim Hof method. I think it could be beneficial for those that are into adventure and exploration. Cold showers, two minutes, and breathing, a breathing method, not like the Buddhists or any Hindus or any of these Ved Vedic techniques. It's different. It's just different. And it isn't meditating. You're breathing. So I found out about this method and I took it on and believe it or not, I love it. I love it. The stress, the stress is much more manageable and the events that are going on in the world that I'm not a fan of because they interrupt making beautiful art and people suffer and this bothers me. I'm sorry. I wish I were more psychopathic. Then there would be a party every day, right? Psychopaths. Or be posting vile videos, trying to, you know, make myself into something because I am nothing, that kind of thing. You just don't know. Life is weird. So breathing, right, for those who, who are interrupted. Also singing, that's uh, Terence McKenna. Terence McKenna, brilliant, if you're into psychedelics. Oh, I'm going to need a background here, or, or the curtains. Hold on. He's out. I'm almost done with this thing, curtains. Where is the curtains? Let's see. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, no. Wait a minute. That's the background. Where are the curtains? Oh, so we don't even need the curtains. We need the background. This is awesome. And you see, I always keep a little model of the character around just to see. And more or less, I'm totally off. I mean, it's... But that's okay. That's part of the evolution of, of design. And because I don't have to answer to anybody, <laughs> this says the arrogant artist. I, you know, I make revisions as I go along. And it's part of the natural evolution. I mean, you're not three years doing something. You think it's going to... It's amazing also when you think about these big features and you have hundreds of artists. They all, have, But the, the, the characters all have a little bit of a, a change to them. You, you get to notice these things based on the... Oops. So what do I have? Three, four? So four, four drawings. What time is it? Oh, I'll try to... Let me see if I can finish this. I don't want this to be a big, long thing. Bore you to death. Okay, so well, let's do it in... Talk less, right? I'm going to make little adjustments here because I know his flicke is leaving and I want us to be able to see as much as we can. That's his collar. What's nice too is that I don't have to ink his head. He's gone. And I know this, this may sound like hubris. But it's good to plan your animation, if it's possible, to make it easier on yourself. Like Jules, dragging in Jules was so complicated. It took so long, Jim dragging Jules in. And I know I have scenes coming up where he's going to carry her. And it's like, I feel like Richard Williams making... <laughs> I mean, giving himself every crazy challenge just, just so he feels like he's up to it, you know? And it's a personal thing to, to just want to push yourself. Let's check this. Yeah, I don't have much room, so that's abbreviated. And I don't care because it's, it gets the job done. So we're almost out of this thing. And I have no idea what I've said. It doesn't even matter. I'm certain. Because we all have our own ideas, thank goodness. Okay, look at this. We're almost done. Bing, bang. And this foot, now that, yeah, and we're not, we're not, uh, you know, given to 
keeping anchors. You know, that's the word I was looking for, but I'm, I've got all sorts of concentration problems right now. Oopsies. I don't like that. Oopsies. Ah! Okay, so you know what we have to do. All the digital tools. This is the first time I've ever allowed myself to sit longer than the 15 minutes I, I require. Because I like to take a break every 15 minutes and rest my eyes, look somewhere else, stretch. Imagine! Okay, hold on. Ah! You gotta go underneath. This is what I learned recently from my master. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, Nelly. Oh, this is it. Oh, thank goodness I am now so. I'm so exhausted. Now I'm going out to party. And do that. And then do that. And we are done. Let me get let me close this thing. Bye Flicke. And now let's pull out a little bit. Oh no. Not there. There. Let's pull out a little bit and just see where we are. See if the last bit we've done. No. Let's lose that. Hold on. There we go. Now here we are. Okay. Oh, I like all this business with this. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Anytime. I love that he goes. Oh, okay. Well, there's things I don't like. And I'm going to, it's like, what happened there? He got inflated. See, he's there. And then, so I'm going to have to do some, some things. I'm going to have to do some things. Well, I'm not doing them tonight. Now I have to go. I have an appointment. And that's that. I'm very close. So when I, when I finish this, <laughs> I mean, if we're not finding ways to make ourselves laugh, uh, he's got a lot of ear stuff. Let me just see what it looks like. Yeah, it's a lot of ear work, but it's working. Okay, it's a little slow, so let me stop this. Let me save. I found that if I save, okay. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, a lot of ear stuff. And that's fine. I don't think it's excessive. Maybe that last bit. I'll look at that last bit. Maybe that last bit is... Yeah. Oh, but then again, i got to see it in color. I don't know. Because his head turns. Hey, well, that's it. Until next time, stay howling!